This is going to sound like probably one of the most strangest comments you've heard on YouTube today, literally. I'm going to say right now, you're probably too much body and not enough arms, and that is why you're slicing the golf ball. Modern golf swings have got to be all body. I swear we're going wrong a little bit. I've been seeing so many comments on the channel recently. Here's three of them right now. I'm going to read this one from Darius Kelly. Hey Alex, love the videos and the tips you give us. I'm a new golfer and struggle with a slice. I get to a dog leg left and I have no idea as a right hander how I move it in the opposite direction. I'm continuously slicing it. It's frustrating, isn't it? Well, we're going to tell you exactly how you can fix that. And also just some general driver tips that are going to help us stand to the driver better. Okay. What a better place to give you this tip. We're in Miami. I'm here with American Golf. This is going to be a great video. Let's get into it. So let's get into some simple things on driver T height and grip because if you are a slicer, grip is going to be one of the main things which is giving you jip. Now look at this bag. Before coming on this trip, I was like a kid in a sweet shop. You know when you get something new in golf, you just want to use it. I was packing it, unpacking it, packing it and M was looking at me like the strangest man alive, like what's he doing? But you can probably relate to that. Okay, T height, let's start with that, then we'll give you some grip. So when you're teeing it up, no matter if you're castle tee user, you are use wooden tees, all these cool tees that I got here in Miami, um, I like to feel half a ball above the face because that is the best chance of fan in the middle, so sort of top to bottom, but also it encourages you to hit driver on the up. So, Nice and simple, look for half of that ball sitting above your driver face as a simple rule of thumb. Now, let's do grip. Slicers, we tend to have a weak grip and anytime we've got a weak grip, simply that means it's hard to square that face into the golf ball. So it's more likely just to point, if you're right-handed, a little bit to the right. So cutting across that ball, creating some curve in this direction. So I want you to do this, nice and simply. When you're gripping that golf club, you're going to make sure, firstly, it's in the fingers. Meaty part then sits on top. I've got to thank Ben Hogan for this one. We can't paint in this one. Just give it a bit of a check. Like, I make sure I've got my club in my fingers and this meaty part on top by just doing that, okay? Now, as you look down as a right-handed golfer on your left hand, you're going to see two and a half knuckles, right? If we're looking to draw this golf ball, that's what we're trying to get towards, I want you just to go a little bit stronger. I want you to go two and three quarters. It might sound the most ridiculous comment in the world, but what I'm encouraging you to do is get it a little bit stronger. Then place your right hand on, but don't just place it on like I did there. What I want you to do is, I want you to feel like you're getting your wallet out of your back pocket, you're going under, placing the club on like this, because straight away, that helps me get both creases into my right shoulder. So think about what we've done there. We've strengthened the grip. I told you before, a weak grip means the face is more likely to point out to the right. That strong grip is easier for me to release that face and get it closing. Now, if we're learning to hit a draw, that's what we're gonna do now, we want that club face to be pointing left of our path. So this is the perfect solution. So far, we've done T-height, we've done grip. And if this is something that's new to you, maybe just rewind, pause that bit, and let me know if that's really gonna help you because making that grip change is vital. Let's get into this bit, that release. Why are you too much body? Okay, what do I mean by too much body? Like, I, I mean in simple terms, like a lot of people wanna move the body better, but we just do this. We spin out of it and it feels like a real rush. What I want you to try and practice is the opposite. So, that feeling of letting the club drop behind us in this space and letting the arms release past the body in this direction. Because if I was to make this move with a tennis racket, that would create some top spin. It wouldn't create some slice spin. So I've got three gold balls in my pocket. This is gonna feel strange, but please do just trust me on this. Follow this step. So the first one you're gonna do, address it, get your grip, make sure it's a little bit stronger than you used to have. Feel this, release the arms past you, just like this, first one. You're gonna really feel like you can get that club swinging. I honestly think we've forgotten. Here you go, here's the tee pack. I'm gonna forget a new one out. How cool is that? I honestly think we've forgotten. It's called a golf swing. We've gone too much into body function and body movement. 
and you can really hopefully see like I'll put a slow-mo over this bit like this like this is what I want you to really feel okay not this direction here's ball two when you do this <laughs> it feels like you're stalling the body but in reality you're letting the club release and that is the route to draw that golf ball I've done this in lessons and people just find it a really nice feeling and don't be scared if you overdo it slightly you're creating some opposites so nice and simple okay get your tee height feel the right grip strengthen it we're trying to draw it we've got a right to left hole and this is the big thing letting the club feel like it's dropping in this space letting the club feel like it's releasing here not spinning out of it with too much body to start thanks so much for watching i really do hope that helps all of you out there have a fab rest of your day looking forward to seeing you tomorrow